Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I want to showcase the two JSON method within JavaScript. So, uh, basically, it lets you um, it lets you change what gets stringified when using the JSON stringify method on objects. So, it's much easier to demonstrate with an example. So, let's go inside the text editor right here and begin by creating a new object. So, let's make a new constant here called let's just say person equal to an object with two properties. Let's have a name as Dom and an age as 46 years old. So a pretty basic object and of course if I was to go down here and make a new object called uh, let's just say um, data obj equal to an object with a data property and set this to the person we can now expect, if I was to say console.log um, json.stringify and pass in here data obj, yeah, obviously we're going to get um, basically this whole structure as a JSON object. So I'm going to save this and refresh the browser. In the console we get here, of course, we get the data as a property within the root object and of course then um, the object nested inside there. So this is standard JSON stringify behavior but with the to JSON method you're able to change what the object right here um, produces for this JSON stringify. So essentially you want to define the to JSON method on the actual object. So back inside here I'm going to define the to JSON method or function on this object right here. You can, uh, you can of course do it like this also, so something like this, but I'm going to use this way right here. So essentially inside here, um, just like regular functions, you're able to access the this keyword, which means what you're going to do is basically return a new value from this function and that value is going to be serialized or stringified instead of the default uh, stringify of the whole object. So if I was to say for example return DOM like that I can save this and refresh and we get DOM right there. So essentially the JSON stringify method uh, this one right here is going to look for a two JSON uh, function or method defined on the object if it exists it's going to use that instead of the default behavior so of course as I said you can also access the this keyword so I can instead construct a string from this for example I can say um, this is and then pass in um, this dot name then I can say and they are uh, this dot age years old Okay, cool. Save this, refresh, and you get here the customized behavior for the JSON stringify. So obviously, it's going to be super useful when creating your own objects and sending them to the server or something like that. So of course, it also works on classes. So just to demonstrate that, I can um, get rid of this right here and convert this into a class. So I can say, for example, class person. I can define the constructor right here. Say name age, this dot name equal to name, this dot age equal to age, so pretty standard stuff. And I can say here to JSON once again, return the same sort of thing. I'll just copy and paste this. So this right here. Okay, so put it inside there and say once again this dot name and this dot age. So the same thing works because we've got an object with the to JSON method defined. Then I can say data is a new person for Dominic uh, with, an, uh, with an age of 56. Save this, refresh, same result right there. Okay, so um, yeah, obviously very useful indeed. So just another thing, um, of course, uh, since it works by checking if a object has the to JSON method, you can even override um, the prototypes for some of um, the built-in objects. So, for example, um, now I don't recommend this. Uh, typically, um, you know, it's sort of advised against to modify the prototype of built-in native objects. But in this case, 
I want to show you um, what what might be a good example. So um, let's just uh, get rid of this stuff right here, and instead get a reference to the h1 tag right here. So I can say const h1 equals uh, document dot query selector. It's going to pass in here the hash. Sorry, um, just say h1 like that. So of course now h1 is equal to this element right here. So if I was to pass in the h1 into the data like that, I can save this and refresh. We actually get nothing. So by default, it looks like JavaScript does not do anything um, when trying to serialize or stringify um, an HTML element like that. So what you can do is you can say HTML element dot prototype dot to JSON is equal to a function and you can define that method right there. In this case, I'm going to return. Um, let's just return something like uh, opening opening brace plus uh, this dot tag name plus closing tag like that. So of course, we're just trying to mimic the HTML tag. So we should get h1 like that. I can also say to lowercase just to make it look a bit nicer. I can save this and refresh and now we get this right here. Now one more example, let's go back inside here and actually just return this dot outer HTML. Okay, save this, refresh, we now get the outer HTML of the element as the JSON stringified output. And that is the two JSON method within JavaScript. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.